Hi and welcome to WWE Girl Talk, I'm Coral. I'm Ashley. And today we're reviewing the Raw from the 23rd of March. The last Raw before WrestleMania. I know. Starting time. Mm-hmm. So, we started off Raw with Sting. We did. Makes a change. He no, spoke, it was I really know. weird. I was like, wow, I didn't like... It was like just pointing or anything, there was an actual... Vocabulary, yeah. <laughs> vocals coming out of his like something that's coming out of his mouth. He was I? talking. Yeah, Tom. <laughs> um, and he was, <coughs> you know, saying how this isn't about WCW. Like this is long gone. I mean, I'd be stupid to bring it up. Um, basically, I just want to be Triple H up because he's like moaned and screwed people over to make his way to the top. This is when Stephanie comes out. It's a bit weird. Mm-hmm. And you know what she immediately starts talking about? Fucking WCW. It's so, like, well, he's just said this is it's not about WCW. And you've no. completely gone, oh, we won the wars against WCW and you didn't give us a phone call, so therefore you, like, didn't have a career. And it's like, well, you should have called him then. <laughs> but the thing is, right, is, right, this is exactly the same as what happened on commentary with AJ and Nikki the other day. It was one person saying something, the other person blatantly not listening. Yeah, it sounds and completely different. So it's like, yeah, I'm trying, I'm trying to do this with the divas, blah blah. blah. Well, AJ's a compulsive liar. What? Right. It just um, no. So then, uh, Stephanie, no, Sting retaliates and goes, well, you know, you like, were given your status, like your dad's little princess type thing, and I don't know why you think you deserve it. You got given it. And that's when she kind of gets her back up. And um, she uh, tried to slap Sting, but Sting <laughs> saw it coming and he caught her arm. Yeah. And she like, went, and like, obviously, Triple H's music comes and yeah. he's like taking his tie off and he's walking down the ring. But on the outside of the ring, she's probably like, oh my god, my arm. <laughs> it's like, you, you, you got like put in the walls of Jericho. You used to get pedigreed. Triple H pedigreed her at some point, I swear. Yeah. And now you're like, oh my god, he hurt me. He touched my arm. <laughs> It's no, not, like no, like it was no. stupid. I sent to play just lying on the edge, like about to get in the ring, <coughs> and um, all of a sudden Stephanie like rises up, like really weird face. And, yeah. like, here's a sledgehammer. <laughs> so like he's got the sledgehammer, and there wasn't a reaction from the crowd. They were just like, mm. everyone's just like, what is this shit? Everyone's just like, can we hurry up and get things yeah. moving? Um, and then Sting pulled out a bat. He did that really well. Yeah, I was like, does. where did he come from? How did he walk down to the ring and not fall yeah. out? Yeah, I was like, oh, that's what all so I was he's thinking got about. Secret zip, like, yeah, my bat zip. <laughs> and uh, so then they were like faffing around, like, is he gonna get in the ring? Is he not? Um, Triple H just doesn't get in the ring and walks away, and that's the end of that, really. Do you know what I think the thing is with Triple H and Sting? People are quite excited for the match, but no one really cares about the run up. Yeah, re- I think the reason people are excited is because of the two. Um, Major names, really, isn't it? Yeah, that we don't generally see wrestle so often. Yeah. I think that's why people are excited. I don't really... No one really cares about the run-up, really, because it's not relevant. Don't really need one, really. No. I mean, with The Undertaker and Bray, I think we could get away with not doing that as well. Yeah. Not as much, because obviously Bray's a newer character, but he's carrying it himself. I think people are just getting annoyed with the whole... He's not turning up because people want to see him. Good things come to those who wake up. Yes. So, we then had... um, So, as... You know, we're just getting into Raw. There's actually a poll. So, there's two polls tonight. One of them is who should face Randy Orton. You have to vote out of Kane, Big Show, and Seth Rollins, JJ Security as the part of three. Um, and the other um, poll was who should be the referee for Daniel Bryan versus Dove Ziggler. So, it was out of Bad News Barrett, Luke Harper, Stardust, Dean Ambrose, and R-Truth. Have I missed anyone? No. You said look after, didn't you? Yes. Yeah, no, that's, yeah. yeah. So when those matches come on, we'll announce who won. Yes. Surprise, surprise. Make sure you keep watching. Yes. <laughs> it's so intense. <laughs> Attention is killing me, Ashley. I know, I just can't stand it. I know. Um, so then we had a match. It was Dino and Bros. and <coughs> versus Stardust and Luke Harper and Banners Barrett's on commentary. I enjoyed Banners Barrett on commentary. I kind of tuned him out to No, I really was listening. He was making me laugh. <coughs> I don't know what it is about Bannis Barrett, but he just, like he could say words. I'm not even listening, but he makes me laugh. I don't know what it is. I think it's the accent. But I'm English. It shouldn't make me I know, laugh. but he's got very English, isn't he's he? Very, he's very, like, like... Yeah. He's like Jason Statham, like... Oh, right, yeah, yeah. English. Badass English. Yeah, badass English. He's very, yeah. Moron and oh, mate. Moron. Just things he says like, are so I'm English. I'm a lad. 
but I'm not a lad because I don't do Cockney. I'm not Danny Dyer. <laughs> like that. The thing is, him and Paige are friends. Didn't they get... They went... No. Bad News Barrett went to the wrestling school we've looked up. Dropkicks. Yeah. So he went there. And Paige went to somewhere close to... Yeah, didn't her mum used to wrestle? Her mu- yeah, her mum used to wrestle. I think she owns a wrestling school and... Yeah, her mum was at wrestling or something. Yeah. Realising she was pregnant. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, with Paige. She's like, oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, Barry's Barrett was quite funny on commentary because they were talking about the... Because um, they're doing, like, bets. <coughs> they were talking about, like, the stakes type thing. So, um, Booker T was saying, oh, yeah, you're four to one to, 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 to win. He's like, what the hell? This is wrong. I am going to win. <laughs> and then... Um, Dean Ambrose two to one to win, and Luke Harper's fourteen to one. <laughs> I was like, oh, poor Luke Harper. <laughs> he literally was just joining in for the fun. Yeah, so I just put a name in there. Um, but the match itself was actually okay. Like, it wasn't terrible. It was quite qu- over quite quick. Yeah. But I think because that's sort of commentary carried it a bit. I don't know. But I quite enjoyed seeing our truth wrestling. Yeah, it was nice to see our truth wrestle for a little bit. Um, I do think sometimes uh, Stardust gets a bit lost in it. To be honest, he's do- he doesn't stand out. I think we said that last yeah, time. Yeah, he doesn't. Um, what, do, can you remember what they, his odds were? Did they say? Did they say? They not say his. I don't think. I, I feel like he hasn't got a chance. He hasn't though. To be honest, yeah. he's not going to win it. Like shame. He might have some nice moments. He might like do something that's like, whoa <coughs> and sets him up for something yeah. massive. But yeah, it's a shame. It, yeah. Um, it's quite nice to see Dean Ambrose and R Truth as a tag team. Yeah, they work quite I well like together. together. It's really weird. They have yeah. the chemistry because um, our troop actually got no. Yeah, our yeah, troop got the pin, right? Yeah, yeah. he did. Our troop got the pin. I was very surprised. Yeah, oh my it god, was nice. it's amazing. It was nice. Um, and then they had a little, had a bit of a boogie in the ring. It was really funny, and I was like, wow, <laughs> Dean Ambrose so dance. I was really surprised because it's not really like his character to do no. something like that. I quite, I quite like that little bromance. Yeah. I, d- I don't think I want a tag team out of it. Like a face size kiss Cesaro, we amazing. Yeah, true. <laughs> You're yeah. like, wait, hang on, this could well, be something. That could be something good that comes out of it, but I don't think I want him to be cool. I don't want Dean, I want Dean to be pushed a lot more. But they're not going to, let's face it. And if they're not going to, you might as well put me on true. Yeah. <laughs> Give him a purpose. I don't, I don't, sometimes the weirdest single compares together make a really great tag yeah. team. Yeah, you know, Tyson kiss Cesaro. Well, Kane and Daniel Bryan. Yeah. Did. So... Never mind. Exactly. I'm always open to the open to change. Yes, exactly. <laughs> what could the tag name be? Arbros. Arbros. <laughs> um. Yeah, and when uh, our truth won, Baron's Barrett literally run off. I don't know why that happened. I don't know why he was like shit. I got get out of here. But yeah. he did. Oh, he had his. Did he get the title? He had his title. He had his title. I think he was scared it was going to get taken away from him. So it's like shit. I'm gonna go. <coughs> um. Then we had the most random. Four, five man tag. It's yeah. really rad. I, di- I didn't get it. Like, no. I didn't. So it was Ms. Misdale, Adam Rose and the Ascension versus Eric Rowan, primetime players, Ryback and Zack Ryder. Where the fuck did Zack Ryder come from, my And like, the Ascension's been gone for weeks. I know. And it's like, but why are those tag teams put together? I don't I, get it. It's like, it's like, oh, we've got nothing for Eric Rowan today. Yeah. Um, we see Ryback okay. and Miz too much. We can't put them in a match again. We just put them in a yeah. tag match instead. It's, 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 what? it's very weird. It just, like it didn't flow very no. nice. It just looked, it was very odd. It, it, I don't even think I, I can't really remember any of it to be honest. Adam Rose in there quite a bit. I remember that. I remember he had new trousers. We liked them. We yeah. liked his new trousers. They're actually a bit more serious, rather yeah. than like yeah. And the, do you know what? I didn't actually see the um, rosebuds. Yeah, they were there. They were there. They okay. were there. Yeah. I did. <coughs> I saw that at first. I saw him stand there. I was like, no. But there's not as many of them as there were. So I. Zack Ryder is not a rosebud. <laughs> he's actually been put in a match for a change. Is that? Zack Ryder. <laughs> yeah. It's like, you can go woo woo up there now. <laughs> um, essentially, didn't really get in either. No, they didn't. I don't remember even getting in, to be honest. Uh, they did briefly. I think one of them did. I don't think one of them actually got in. Um. And then Miz Dad got in for a bit, and then Miz like made him come out again. So it's been like, uh. mm. it just was like, uh. it was just basically for Ryback to be showcased, and yeah. Ryback won it with yeah. these um, creepy more shit. And I feel like they've got nothing to do with Ryback anymore. Well, I feel like no one's got a purpose anymore. I know what you mean. They've got a direction. Like, yeah, you've got the whole of the Intercontinental going on. You've got the tag teams, and you've got Roman Reigns with Bill Forey on the side. No one else has got a purpose. 
No, but even during, like, in the middle <coughs> of that, there is still no purpose because there's too many people going for the same thing. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. But, um, yeah, this was, like, the Andre Giant Battle Royal Memorial statue was on the outside. I think that's yeah, what it was trying to push. Trying to but it up. didn't work. It was just very weird. Like, I literally was like, I don't know why this is a It didn't no. have much... Like, Maybe they're trying to me. make wrestlers relevant again, just in case... Like, right, because they're going in. Still, it's just, like, they're a very odd mixture of people. Yeah. It's like, they, I think they probably just picked it out of the house. Yeah, that's like, like who's it. available tonight? Yeah, we need to fill a match. In. Yeah. There we go. So then we had the Randy Orton match. It was a very weirdly placed, like, halfway, yeah. through, like, halfway through the Raw. It was very odd. They wanted to give them an early night, I think. Um, <laughs> so there was obviously a poll for who should face them. And it's obvious it's going to be Seth yeah. Rollins. Like, I mean, you're not going to be thick. If that's a match at WrestleMania and you're choosing Kane, <laughs> then why is it a WrestleMania yeah. match? <laughs> you're obviously not that interested. So uh, <coughs> it was obviously Randy Orton versus Seth and J&J Security. And as you can like, obviously tell, it was going to be a J&J Security versus Randy Orton. They're not going to like ruin the WrestleMania match by no. making it Seth and Randy dominant. Um. So yeah, I mean, there was a couple of moments where that were quite good. Like Seth went, mm. to, like I remember one moment actually where Randy Orton was waiting. I know he does it that thing on the floor where he's waiting to RKO with someone. Oh yeah, he was doing that for Jamie Noble, and um, as he was in that position, Seth went to curb stomp him, and like Randy Orton got up and missed it. Then he tried to RKO him, but then like Seth counted and ran off like a little snake. <sighs> but it was quite good because it's like. Yeah very fast and like I can get in and out of this manoeuvre thing is right we could have a very very good match at Wrestlemania if it was purely just them two I really hope there's like I know I hate seeing them as a pay per views but I hope there's a segment that makes it so it's not going to be the authority involved in that match yeah I really do hope there's going to be something yeah like even if they like somehow get attacked randomly because you know they attack Mark Henry yeah Mark Henry could attack them and they're all like knocked out and you know I just, I, I think if that match could potentially be very good and pos- potentially one of the best, best matches yeah. of the night, if it gets interrupted by any fucker that's there, I no. But, just have a thought. By Dallas? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, no, I just have a thought. If, like, say, for example, the authority do get involved and Seth wins, and the match is, like, early on the night, which I think it will be, Seth might cash it in. Yeah. That's the only good advantage that would come out of it, I think. But at the same time, <coughs> it, I'd, it'd be nice to see Seth actually win a match on his own. Yeah. And the thing is, we know that Seth and Randy can have a really good match together. Yeah. So it's going to get to the point where... It's going to get frustrating. Yeah, it's... Because they're so... They're so petitioned, if that makes sense. Like, the the matches are so picked apart by who's getting involved. Yeah, I've just set up straight and... Yeah. Uh, it's, it's so picked apart by who's like getting involved that it then becomes bitty and they can't actually can like construct an actually good match around yeah. it and i think that's the problem with wwe at the moment too many interruptions doesn't give us any good matches but um randy Orton obviously won he pinned jamie noble yeah uh-huh. it was bad to happen and seth ran off really <laughs> and that was that at the end of the uh authority for the night really that which was quite nice let me just double check on my yeah yeah that was the end of the authority bye bye um so we had um, a backstage segment with AJ Lee and Paige. Mm-hmm. Um, basically, Nikki said that one of them covered Diva's championship match and they had to decide between them who was going to be the one to have the match. And um, obviously, Paige was like, well, it should be me because she went here and I had to deal with that shit. So, you know, and she called them slags. She called the fellas to be slags. Yeah, she was slag. I thought that was an English word. It is. Do the WWE viewers not slag No, I think she she said it by slip of the tongue. Yeah. She kind of said it and was like, sure. Like, you could do like slags or something. Basically, slag is pretty much similar word to slag. Whore. Whore. Yeah. Oh. Um, and AJ's like, oh, but you know, the Bella Twins are trying to get in. I think they're trying to, you know, split us up before the tag team match. And Paige's like, you know what? It's a Divas match. It's a Divas championship match. I need to do this. She's like, okay, I'll be in your corner. <laughs> and um, then we had the match after a break and it was Nikki obviously versus Paige and Brie and AJ on the outside and to be fair this was actually a fucking yeah. decent match like, probably the really best match of the night I was literally about to say that potentially literally the about best to say match. that we were actually watching this without and we had technology. no idea who the hell was going to win yeah it was really good so many false pins 
Like, generally, some generally good moves as well. Yeah, there's some good shit in there. Like, they actually have the time. This is the whole Give Divas a Chance thing. Yeah. Right? This is what it's meant for, for actually, us to actually see good Divas wrestle. And until the very end, I'm glad for, for the fact that it was purely just them. Do you know what, though? It frustrates me that they're capable of having such a good match. It's like, well, why don't you do that every time you're out there? Yeah. Why do you do it... Once every few months. Yeah, like, no. You need to be consistent. And yeah. Like, wow. Because the, the crowd in a Divas the, match is normally very quiet. But this they, one... They got riled up. They were like, I thought we were edging to this awesome chance. <coughs> Seriously, <coughs> that, I thought we were this close to one. It was really good. Like, I'm... I've, it made me not like Nikki a little bit. <laughs> if she didn't yeah. have that character, I'd actually yeah. quite like her. She's very good, actually. She can be good. She she's The annoying thing is, she's got a massive amount of potential. I think she needs to drop the whole... I think she needs to drop Brie, to be honest. I was about to say, she needs she, to drop Brie. She needs to drop Brie. I get their twins, but they're single competitors. They just kind of tag along with each other. Yeah. But Paige needs to drop AJ as well. Yeah. And we don't want to see a friend of me sing. We oh. just want them separated. And the thing is, I reckon Nikki could be up there if she tried. If she didn't have a silly personality. Yeah. And I think if she if she continued to do matches like that, I wouldn't care. She could She could be up there. I don't care. Personally, if she dropped the stupid attitude, she got dropped Brie and carried on wrestling like this for about a month or two, she'd literally be the face of the Divas. And, and I, I wouldn't, wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind. No. Yeah. no, no. She was generally quite good, and I think um, like it was a match that made me really want to watch it. But when I was saying, we're not going to get that on WrestleMania. No, we're not going to have that match. We're going to have three make silly faces and go Brie mind. <laughs> Right. Come on, Nikki! Yeah, come on, Nikki! It's so funny. Every time you hear that, every like five minutes, it's like, come on, Nikki! You're like, oh, shut up. <laughs> and we're going to have a like, Paige and AJ turn on each other or some, something. Yeah. And then she's going to turn to the AJ and Paige show. And <coughs> <coughs> but the thing is, the well, thing is, I don't, I, I, I do, I, AJ has become the female Daniel Bryan for me. She can wrestle, but I dread her coming out. Yeah, she's good. I generally do. She's too skinny. Can I say, she needs to eat something. She was standing there, you can see her ribs. Mm. That's disgusting. Eat something. Right. Um, that, Because that's just... No, I doubt she's starving herself. I think she's just working out too much. Yeah. And so, yeah, it's kind of gross. And, um... But, um... I... It, it annoyed me, because at the end... Right, because we had this great... We had this great match. Yeah. It was all about Paige and Nikki. You should watch it for sure. Yeah, it... Definitely one to watch. It was all about Paige and Nikki. We didn't know who was going to win. Yeah. We couldn't tell. And they had this really good fall out the, uh, of the ring. The ring. And then, obviously, Brie came over. AJ hit Brie. And hit Brie. And then Paige went over to AJ. And AJ hit her, thinking it was Nikki. Nikki. So then Nikki managed to win. win. Like, yeah, get Paige and win. Second that happened, that match became all about AJ. Yeah, it was fucking ruined. <coughs> Because she can, because she's such a big. She's not. She's not a big character. She's just got a very big following, and that's the annoying thing. That it became all about her, and now it's become about the frenemies thing again. Yeah, because then afterwards, Paige went to attack her, and they were having this like, eh, I'm gonna hit you, yeah. and the rest were separating them. And she's like, oh, we had this last year. Why do we need it again? You know, like you know what needed to happen. They needed to stay friends until WrestleMania, win the champion. No, win the match and then go, okay, we we should both go for champion now, but only one of them can get it. So it's going to be the race to who can get it first. But I just want, I, I don't want Nikki, no, Paige and AJ to have this view no, at no. all because I've seen it too many times. Exactly. I, my arm just went really good. <laughs> but I think. Trapped a nerve. <laughs> but I, we somehow need to get Naomi in there. Over there. It's right. She'll get in there. She'll get there. So yeah, Nikki. hinted at it. It's fine. Nikki won. Which was deservedly so, really. Yeah, I mean, you couldn't call it. No. I would have liked the last minute, like, championship change. That would have been interesting. Yeah, because then maybe that would have helped the feud between AJ and uh, Paige. Yeah, I really if, don't want I don't they're, want they're one. They're gonna, they're gonna. I don't um, want one, but they're gonna have it, and it's gonna come out of, well, it's not gonna come out of nowhere, but it's, it's gonna come out of WrestleMania. And it's not gonna have a purpose. Yeah, it's just like, well. There's not even gonna be a championship behind it, so. No. So then <coughs> we had um, Snoop Dogg, and. <laughs> 
he had some divas with him and I was just like why are they trying to turn mm. divas into this like it was just like no it's cringy someone wrote like a chicken how <laughs> she does someone commented on our videos <laughs> couple of like a couple of videos I can't remember which one and they're like yeah someone wrote it's like a chicken and I was like I can't answer this I literally can't like she was walking down the ring with her like her knee high boots <laughs> on and all I could see was chicken um <laughs> Yeah, Snoop Dogg come out and he's like, yeah, yo, Dizzy, you could to WrestleMania, yo. <laughs> I don't know why. He didn't say that. That's what he basically said. And um, all of a sudden, Curtis Axe would come out. And I was like, he was like, it's not soup Snoop Mania, it's it's Axel Mania. <laughs> and he's like, and then like, Snoop Dogg's like, oh yeah, you've been talking all this shit on Twitter. He didn't say shit, but you know. Yeah. And uh, he's like, dog, there's Axel Mania. There's Snoop Mania, there's WrestleMania, but there's one massive mania. And he brings out Hulk Hogan. Dun, dun, dun. So I'll fuck his back again. Fuck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Need to get myself some medical treatment <laughs> for the herpes. And, yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. And uh, Hulk come out, you know, he's doing his all, you know, he's hearing shit. <laughs> you know, and, um, you know, what you gonna do, brother? Brother. And then uh, <laughs> Curtis Axel, though, in this moment, looked so like, oh my god, this is happening. Yeah. Like, he, oh, Hogan is here. He was like smiling. Like, he was like, dude, you need to cover this shit up. Have that moment backstage. Yeah. Like, he was like, like, tear up behind the scenes. He was. He was like, like starry eyed. It was beautiful. It was yeah. brilliant. It actually made me emotional, Carl. I, know, I was so like, oh my emotion. god. So emotional. <laughs> and then uh, Curtis Axel, like, ripped his top. I was like, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they go? <laughs> Axel Mania was wild. Oh no. And then he goes to hit Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan blocks him and punches him. And then Snoop Dogg like, <laughs> throws him out of the, the ring. ring. Over the top rope. Yeah. He's still in the wrong room. Yeah. Like, okay, folks. <laughs> Cut <Cut-off> right. <laughs> and that was the end of that, really. But it's quite nice that after all of this shit, he got a fucking moment of Hulk Hogan. Yeah. As much as we're like, oh, Hulk Hogan's back, it was still quite a nice. It moment. was because normally when Hulk Hogan's there, you know John Cena's gonna come out, yeah. like, but it wasn't. It was nice, which uh, yeah. I didn't. I really still get, don't get my Snoop was there. Yeah, I was just yeah. thinking about that. I don't know what yeah. happened, but hey, interesting. Yeah, might have a float your boat. Yeah. Um. <laughs> so then we had a match. It was Tyson Kidd, Cesaro, and Natalia versus Los Matadores and El Torito. Right, before we start with this match, can we just say they have a match at WrestleMania with New Day? Uh, Los Matadores. Los Matadores. The Usos. And the Usos. This is the pre show fucking match. It's the kickoff, sh- kickoff match. Are it's you having a laugh? Fucking... What? Like, that really made us angry. We we're like, what yeah. the fuck? Right. Is One. This? Usos. Friggin' massive. Two. Tyson Kidd and Cesaro. The newest friggin' tag team coming around at the moment that everyone is backing, everyone is in yeah. love with. Okay. Right. New Day that WWE have been trying to push for ages. So. And Los Matadores as well. Yeah. And so it's just kind of like... And it's a fatal four-way. Like, why... And I'm pretty sure they said it's for the Tag Team Championship. We need to double-check that, but I'm pretty sure yeah. it is. They're just trying to get people to watch the pre-show, I think. Yeah. But it's like, you could have easily put that as the first match of the WrestleMania. Yeah. Just so they can actually say, oh my god, I've been on WrestleMania. It's just... I, we're, we're actually putting that in our predictions. Yeah. And we're going to review that. We're... Yeah. We're casting it as the first match of WrestleMania, yeah. like we're not it even is, caring. Like. Yeah, we are so pissed off about that. Yeah, it is unreal. It. So I might put an angry tweet about that later. Yeah, angry tweet, <laughs> angry tweet, everyone angry tweet, tweet. Yeah. Everyone, if everyone tweets angry tweets about it, it might get made as um, a match. Yeah. Let, let's start a movement, people. Let's start a petition <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> right now. Um, <laughs> and the Usos and Naomi were on commentary. <coughs> Naomi has a fucking nice outfit. I know. I want that as a bikini. It was like, like Uso colours. It was so pretty. It was. She looked so good. It really she matched did. her skin colour. It was so good. It's like, nice. I can't wait to see her wrestle in it. Do you think she'll wrestle in it? I hope she does. Oh, it might be a bit like nip slip. Yeah. I think she should still wrestle in it. Just it looked good though. It, it looked nice that she was wearing matching colours at the Usos. I quite know. Cute. I was quite surprised to see Usos there because I know uh, Jay's yeah. got an injured knee, but it was quite bad. Yeah. Up. I think yeah. He could probably do shit. Do you know what? I'm quite surprised how often she changed her outfit. She gets a lot of like budget for that <laughs> yeah maybe she's playing for her for herself maybe maybe just to be like oh yeah, I'll do yeah, that bit. yeah. i don't know but she could totally start bikini range 
And yeah, you said I know. I'll, I'll buy it. I'll buy it. It looked very nice. It, it looked like something beautiful. you could wear on the beach. It was beautiful. It was generally beautiful. We were like, oh my god. And then there, there's Natalia, like, dressed like Beth Phoenix. <laughs> we were like, oh my god, she needs to change like, that. Like, she has such a pretty, like, pink heart thing going yeah, on. Yeah, and now she's just like a gimp. It's like, yeah. what's going on? Um, so, um, yeah, the match is okay, but we'd had this match on SmackDown already. Yeah. So it was like, oh. Natalia does very well in it, though. She, you know, she, she does hold her own. Um, there was one moment that really made me laugh where one of the Lost Matt Doors went, oh no, and then Tyler's kid like, kicked him in the face. Yeah. Right afterwards. <laughs> well, he, he did the thing through the rope and got Cesaro, and they went, oh no, and then Tyler's kid like, <laughs> kicked him in the face <laughs> straight after this. It was brilliant. <laughs> so good. And they did their swingy thing again. Yeah, swinging was the drop good. kick. That was good. So that happened, but they also had a really dodge, like, Tag move where I think it was like Tyson <laughs> Kid was like holding him down by his neck, like with his foot. Then he tagged Cesaro and Cesaro just like kicked, kicked him. him. And Tyson Kid went up and I was like, What was that? Yeah, but you, if you're trying something new at it's not what I actually seem quite proud of that move. Yeah, yeah, like, like, yeah, we just kicked him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but right? they, they seem like hamsters, like they're excited about everything. Yeah. Like, oh my god, we're in a match. It's amazing. Um uh, Tyler's just this bored all the time. I don't know if it's actually the yeah. face. Um Well she's uh, she's resting in a Gimso, yeah. In a Gimso, yeah. it's that's like no. So, um, the Gimso's were quite <coughs> quiet on commentary. It's yeah, so I, I felt like they didn't really want to be there, to be honest. No, I think they were like, I could be putting my leg up right now. They're probably like, I'm fucking him, kick, kick off match, what the hell's going yeah. on? Yeah, um, it's wait, the Usos, seriously, yeah. the Usos. And the, oh, mm. I reckon they're not really going to get in, you know. No, because of the injury, they're yeah. just going to stay on the outside, probably. Um, and um, last match I was in El Torito won because El Torito just rolled Natalia up and won. I hate it when they do that. Yeah. I hate it when they end the match with just a roll up. Like it's just so ineffective. You just, yeah. You just kind of get frustrated because you're like, what was the point of the match? Like, yeah. I don't like it. Everyone see, needs to see more like. They need to have more of a climatic ending to the yeah, matches. Yeah, like oh, oh, like like the Nikki and um, Paige. That was quite good. Like, because he, he had so many false pins. But then he didn't there was such an anti-climax at the end. Like, oh, yeah. That's the, the whole problem. They build up these, like, matches really good, and all of a sudden it just ends. And you're yeah. like, oh, what? No. It's because there's too many speaking segments. They just need to plan their matches better. They need yeah. to be told more in advance, I think, what they're yeah. going to be doing. And then they can plan it a bit better. Um, so, yeah, Los Matadoras won that, which I hope that doesn't mean they're going to win this match at WrestleMania. Mm. Um, so then um, we had Banners Barrett backstage with his title and Kane come along and being all GME oh it's great I love it when Kane's like this and uh, he was like oh I need to take your title <laughs> and Banners Barrett was like no I just go back he's not taking my title and he's like you've had it for back for 72 hours what kind of champion are you type <laughs> thing and he's like either you give it to me or I'm like stripping you of your title because we, we need it for the Hanging it up <laughs> at WrestleMania, and I was like, "What? Six days early?" Yeah. yeah. But anyway, you know, whatever. This is WWE logic. Just gonna let him roll with it. Hashtag. Yeah. And um, <coughs> it was quite funny, you know. And then Bad News gave him his title, and then he's like, "Oh, you're quite. I don't know why you're complaining. You've got to defend your title against six men in a ladder match. That's easy." <laughs> <laughs> like, <"What's up?" laughs> I love Kane like that. Like, I genuinely love Kane when he's like that. He needs to be general manager. Get rid of the authority. Yeah. Everyone just love Kane. And he's perfect. He is generally perfect for that role. But everyone thinks that though. I've yeah. seen other people say. Really? Like, he does better on his own like that. That's so good. And the thing is, he's still capable of wrestling. Yeah. So if he needed to, he could go in yeah. the ring. But he doesn't need to. He can, like, he could generally, I reckon, he, he could definitely hold his own in history books if he just goes to GM. I, I think that, I hope that's what they're planning. Because yeah, I hope this photo anyway. shit's done soon. Yeah. I'm so bored of it. You can't really go on much longer, can you? Please. <laughs> so then we had Rusev versus Jack Swagger, which we've seen a thousand times. I was like, fucking hell, why am I This has gone on like three years. I know. This is like the longest fucking few years. I know. Um, it's going to be like John Cena, isn't it? I know. It's already, what, ten years? Ten years. <laughs> Like, oh, we could have been like a bag of bones for fucking yeah. hours to go on. Um, and it's the same old routine. They have a little bit of a tiff, and then Rusev puts him in his lock, and then Jack Sucker passes out, and then Rusev John doesn't Cena. let go. Yeah, and then John Cena turns up. And then John Cena gets beaten up and thrown into a chair and splits it in half. That was good. Though. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> that was good. I went, ah! Oh! <laughs> like, you should just watch and fast forward to that bit. Yeah, because. Just, just, like, he literally came out of nowhere. Like, boom. Yeah, he just. just Got thrown over the announcing table and smashed this like wheelie chair in half. We were like, yeah. oh my god! And then like Rusev was like, he was about to do this really cool thing. Like he flipped him and put John Cena on his front. 
and held just him. Had a little tap on he the table. just went, ugh. And I thought, oh, fuck. I thought it was going to be amazing. Yeah. Me and Coral, like, oh my god, what's this? And I was like, oh, mm. sell it. Yeah. <laughs> But, but that great that was that yeah and then like Bruce Heff did his lock on John Cena and John Cena like passed out and then that was it he just ran off I thought we were going to speak and I knew he had a heart attack but, <laughs> but we were talking and um, we were saying how Bruce Heff never uses his flag to beat people yeah. up yeah it's very strange he's like, like he's got that prop there yeah, all the time so why does he use it yeah it's very weird but it's like saying that everyone has belts and they don't really hit people I don't know what's wrong with you guys and Steph has a briefcase what has he done? Hit it with people like twice? He licks it. <laughs> yeah, he just licks it. Oh isn't? my god. <coughs> there's that brief there's that Twitter for briefcase in there. I think so. Jeff yeah. Rollins briefcase. <laughs> I was wetting myself the other day reading through that. Oh really? Yeah. There was one going, Dean Ambrose, can you please kidnap me? Because <laughs> <laughs> obviously he'd just taken the yeah. zoo and gone out of the tower. It made me laugh. I had a good <laughs> little time scrolling through that on Saturday <laughs> morning. <laughs> um, so then we had Bray Wyatt. And this is a powerful speaking segment. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. So he was about Undertaker. But it was a bit like confusing. Um, he was talking about lies. And this is yeah. where Coral had a massive, great moment. What was the moment, Coral? What did you say? Undertaker's a compulsive liar. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Undertaker is a compulsive liar. It was just so funny. Um, I don't know why he was calling Undertaker a liar. I don't really understand. No. Everyone just likes to go off tangent a little yeah. bit these days. No, no one likes to actually answer a question no <laughs> and no one likes to form a sentence no it's very strange um, and he was talking about how Undertaker hasn't appeared like <coughs> you know he's hiding basically Undertaker's hiding and then um, Bray had actually staged like like lightning bolts himself and was like mm. see I'm not scared like I'm the face of fear I can handle this like and he starts laughing through the mic yeah I'm pretty sure he had a new jacket as well didn't yeah he? he did I don't see that and um, there was like as he, as he was laughing and finished his second on his knees there's more lightning and explosives. Do you know what? I it's a good little seg. Right. I don't understand why people are getting so annoyed that the Undertaker isn't showing up. It wouldn't work if it, it was there. Yeah, it wouldn't. And it, just think how good the reaction's going to be when he turns up at WrestleMania. It's going to be amazing. So, that's if he turns up. Kind of what's the point of just asking him to turn up now? I know everyone wants to see him, but Bray's carrying it himself anyway. He doesn't need Undertaker there. No. Like, you don't need to touch him that much. Like, it's obvious what's going to happen. It'd be yeah. more effective if he just turns up for the first time at WrestleMania. Yeah, exactly. And, and when then he goes into hibernation. Yeah, afterwards. he just yeah, doesn't come back. Yeah. Um, so then we had a backstage moment. It was Tyson Kidd. <laughs> and <laughs> he was sitting there with his earphones and as he does, and he's like, oh, what is it he's Oh, you smell really good. He's got Birkin in front of him, but like, <laughs> you smell really good. And Natalia's behind the screen. She's like, oh, yeah, it's the perfume you got me. <laughs> and um, he's like, oh, I miss you. She's like, we were just out in the match. Like, he can't, he does, she doesn't know he's talking to this Birkin. And he's like, oh, this is what true love is. And she's oh, like, oh, you know to make me feel better. better. And then she sees that he's standing there with, like, Birkin. And he takes his earphones off. He's like, what? Yeah. <laughs> and, like, he's, he's like... He brought back the new Burger King chicken strip. No, chicken fries. Chicken <laughs> yeah, fries. chicken fries, is it? And she's like, what the hell? She sits next to him and like, takes the chicken fries. And it's like, mm. She has an orgasm. I'm yeah, with. it went on too long. The thing is, it would have been a fine segment. I get that it's just product placement. Yeah, it was. It's but... so just product placement. But do you think it's since WWE getting their money now? Yeah, of course it is, yeah. <coughs> it used to just be sponsored by, now it's product placement. Yeah. But it was... She should have just taken them, taken a bite and gone, mm. and they should have cut it. Yeah. She said on for, hmm, mm, I need she, a moment. Yeah, she's like, that's not what I need a moment. <laughs> My chicken fries. And then, <laughs> and then she like, took the chicken fries, and then she wouldn't get back to him. I do really want to try chicken fries. Mm. Never heard of chicken fries. But then, um, that was trending topic on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. Chicken fries are back, weren't it, or something yeah. like that. Yeah. I don't think I've ever done them over it. No, no. I don't, I, I don't really have Burger King enough. No. I have to ask Jake. I have to investigate. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so then we had a match. It was Dolph Ziggler vs. Danny Bryan, and obviously there was a poll who was going to be the ref. And it was Dean Ambrose. Yay! We were really disappointed he didn't take his top off. <laughs> yeah, we were like, oh my god, we're going to get to see it. And he just put the top over his vest. That's very, yeah. We were very sad. We were like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> um, but he looks so awkward being ref. Yeah, I don't think he's ever ref before. No. Yeah, I don't remember. He literally just stood there like, I don't know what to do. And he's like doing crab, he's walking sideways. <laughs> and he, at one point, um, <coughs> <laughs> Daniel Bryan had got Dolph, like, he's 
Dolph pinned Dolph in a really weird way. Like I think it was quite athletic kind of yeah. way. And Dolph's shoulder was on the mat, which normally means you've got a pin. And James just kind of stood there for a minute thinking, what do I do? And mm. he's like, oh yeah, I've got to fucking do the pin. <laughs> mm. And he was quite quick going, one, two. And he was like, fuck, I have to keep, keep kicking out really quick. And they look quite tired, I think. Yeah. They have to keep really kicking out quick. It's like, dude, they're counting too fast. <laughs> um, but I didn't enjoy the match, to no, be honest. I'm, I'm sick of Daniel Bryan. Just like I'm sick of AJ. They both came back and now I don't really care about them. <laughs> and then... I feel like Dolph ain't got a purpose anymore, so I kind of ain't bothered about seeing him. The thing is, though, like... For me, personally, I prefer it when people are completely different types of wrestlers and they come together. They tend to work better, in my opinion. Because, you know, opposites tend to work nicer. I don't know why I find that they work better. Yeah, I mean, I, like, I don't get me wrong, I do like it when they wrestle. I'm just... There's just something... There's no spark between this little kind of thing going on. And, like, the thing is, they've put the Intercontinental Championship above the ring. Yeah. Not when they had the whole Intercontinental thing going on, but for this match. But I think that might have been set up the ending. <coughs> Maybe. It's just fair enough, but it's also, like... I feel like one of them is going to win. See, I don't know. We'll have to see in our predictions or anything. Yeah. But um, I don't like Dolph and Daniel wrestling. Like, they're not, it's not terrible, but I just don't... I don't think it flows nice because they're too similar. Hmm. So it's just like watching them face this, the, each other, basically. Like It's like Daniel Bryan. Watching Daniel Bryan have a match with Daniel Bryan. Yeah. Like, in my opinion, I just don't think it works very nice. And it's and bored, to be honest. They didn't yeah. really get into it. Um, but the only good thing about the match was Dolph actually won. Yeah, he, that just, was nice. he did a super kick, did the fame sir, and done. Dun, dun, dun. He did have a nice little ending, to be fair. Yeah, that was the only interesting part of the match. And then um, it wasn't very long though, was it? It's about fifteen minutes. Was it? Yeah. yeah. And um, sure. then uh, Dolph, Dean was raising Dolph's hand as he does his ref, and then um, Dolph kind of like, it's like get off me type thing. And then Dean attacked Dolph just as I went, literally went to say. Dean's going to attack Dolph. <laughs> as soon as he yeah, ex- exited my mouth, he did it. And then um, he got the ladder out, he set it up, and I was like, oh my god, he's going to take the title again, he's going to steal it. <laughs> and then Kane's going to come out and go, badass. That would have been quite funny. Um, but then um, everyone else came out and had this massive fight, and they were like jumping off ladders and yeah. pushing each other off shit. And I was like, I was like getting quite frustrated because I was like, oh my god, they're going to get injured before they have the match. Yeah. And it's kind of ruining the match because now you know what the match is going to be like at WrestleMania. Yeah. You've kind of spoiled it a little bit. Um, but I, do, well, I was going to say, I do like the fact that when they go up the ladder and someone's meant to distract them, they go one step too short. And just like, they kind of just stand there, don't they? Like, oh, my footings fell. Yeah. <laughs> I need to get my... Did you notice Stardust is like lifting the ladder up? And yeah. And then saying like, oh, I can't do this ladder on my own. But yeah. Was, like, he was lifting it up. Like, you could see what he was yeah. doing. Um, but at the end of all that, no one actually got the belt. They were all just lying around on the floor. Yeah. So it's a bit like... So, do you know what? Like, I know this is really weird, but all I think about when moments like that happen is they've all got to get up in a minute and walk out like nothing's happened. Yeah. It doesn't really make sense in my head. Like, how are you going to manage... That. Yeah. And if it all goes dark and they just get up and walk yeah. out, which wouldn't make sense, but you know, they've had to get up and walk out yeah. and just lay down the floor like I can't move. Yeah. <laughs> oh, security weird. just picks them up one by one. Yeah, it's like, oh, <laughs> see you later, bye. <laughs> um, so then we had. Oh my God, I don't even want to talk about this segment. It was disgusting. <laughs> we ended Raw on a speaking segment. It wasn't the Euphoria, but no. it was Paul Heyman and Brock Lesnar. And uh, Paul Heyman didn't get cut off this time, which no. is quite nice. Yeah. And Paul Heyman was basically saying, Brock's going to win. He's going to come into your homes, take your family and your children's dinner. Or something <laughs> like that. I was, like, I was just like, what is he on about? <laughs> I was like, I said to Carl, Big Show's going to come out in a minute. <coughs> I have gone, a family. I have a family. You have to do for my family. Mm. Um, Brock just looks at him very confused. <laughs> like, what are you about? <laughs> I'm going to steal your wife. I was like, what is Paul Heyman? going on about but it wasn't it was effective though yeah. in a really weird way yeah um and then again paul Heyman does know how to work it he does know how to work it and brock just stood there fidgeting it was really all, yeah it, it was, was really like, putting yeah he was like one minute he was bobbing his head like yeah. he listened to music it was just a very awkward i don't <laughs> like, i love this tune <laughs> tune this tune you paul know Heyman's tune. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so he didn't get cut off you know he was like roman reigns can roman reigns <laughs> Can like, <laughs> 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 and um, and then Roman Reigns come downstairs, but we fast forwarded it so he ran downstairs. Yeah, he went really fast. And 
I don't want to say it. Um, <laughs> oh, <that he> did. <laughs> so <laughs> Brock Lesnar held his title up. He's like, yeah. And Roman Reigns grabbed it and held it like a child. And they went, bitch, I is mine. I own it. He basically went, go bye. bye. He went diva on us. And I was like, no. It was the gayest thing in the It was awful. Like, oh, I was like, what is this? And then it gets even worse. Like, you think it can't get worse from there. It does. Trust oh, me. It does. <laughs> Brock grabs the title, Roman Reigns is let go, and they basically just stand in the middle of the ring like this. And then Vore ends. Faded out. And I was like, what the hell was that? What is this? What is this she It's just a childish and ridiculous. Oh my god, you just made two tough men look stupid. Look petty and weak and childish and Oh, you made him look like two, I, yeah. No, it was like this is the main event of WrestleMania, and this is what you're doing for the build-up, really. Like, I know there was like a lot of complaints, like yeah, about it. but I can see why. Well, we like, haven't seen it yet. I don't blame them. It made me cringe. I was yeah. like, oh. like, is that what's gonna happen in the ring? <laughs> Get rid of me. They're just gonna start cuffing and yeah, like, oh, it's okay. Just, just wait to love me, bro. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. We'll share. But you don't share. You do not share a championship. No, it's off. wrong. It's so <laughs> wrong. And it's like, who in creative thought this was a good idea? Oh, Can no. we please sack them? Sack someone. S- that was terrible. Like, who sack goes? Them to that's like me going, oh my god, I've got an amazing idea. Guess what we're oh, going to do, Carl? We're going to make Brock and Roman Reigns fight for the title in a tug of Oh my god, that is like, amazing. I, I knew. Let's get these bitches excited for WrestleMania. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. dreading that match. I literally don't want to yeah. watch it. That's, that's one match I don't want to watch. I think it's main event. It's going to be Maybe so, so man. boring. Like, I'm not going to get into that. But the amount of people are saying there is no nothing to look forward to. Do you I wouldn't even be surprised if that's not a main event. I wouldn't be they surprised wouldn't if it's a main event, but it's moved like halfway through like, two matches before the end. You what, know like how they do. John Cena and Randy Orton were main event. Yeah, and, and then Stefan. 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 Yeah. yeah. I hope they might do that because they're not getting a reception. It's not. But then who would go main event? It should be Brian Undertaker. It should be interesting, probably. Yeah. I could see that happening. Yeah. Mm. You know, they might decide on the night. You do first. Yeah. WWE Championship matches first. We're yeah. going to the kickoff. <laughs> and then we'll bring the tag teams up. Yeah. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> so, yeah. What should you. Oh, we've got a question. Oh. I've got this. Oh, should we rate Raw first? What yes. should we rate Raw? Um, it wasn't terrible. Four? Yeah. I was thinking four. It's not. Yeah. It the end was awful. Yeah, but. but you know. Like it was, it was quite enjoyable. We had a really good Divas match. Yeah. They're really pushing the Intercontinental. There isn't much of a storyline, but I find it quite amusing. Yeah. I think that's down to our truth. Yeah, our truth carried that whole yeah. thing. Well, uh, no, it's it's pretty decent. Yeah. So I, so I so four out of ten. Yeah. Which so is we, better than most week. Yeah, <laughs> that's better for the first time in like two months. Probably since fast lane. Yeah. Um. So Chris gave us a question. Oh hi Chris. Um. What match are you two looking forward to the most at WrestleMania? Brian Undertaker. I'm going to go with the Continental Championship match, actually. I am I'm quite looking forward yeah. to that. And I think there isn't many I'm looking forward to. I mean, <laughs> Sting and Triple H, I think, could be quite fun. Yeah, I think it'll be but, quite a long one, to be honest. Yeah, but could go either way, yeah. I think. Um, definitely Brian Undertaker, because I look forward to that. Um, Intercontinental, because it amuses me and there's ladders. Yeah. And I want to play the Giant, I think. I'm not really looking forward to that. I, I just want to see who wins. It's going to be Ryback. Do you think? Yeah. Unless Sheamus comes back. Yeah. They haven't promoted him recently though, if you noticed. Yeah, true. True. I think they did it now. I think they did it on Last Raw or something. They didn't do it on this one. No. It'll be, inter- it, be interesting to see. But I think there isn't that many to look forward to. Steph and Randy potentially. Hmm. Um, I'm just going to say it quite on. Leave it at that. I'd, I'd just say Brian on the paper. <laughs> you like, share, subscribe, follow us, retweet, retumble, and don't forget to tune in for our WrestleMania review and SmackDown and yeah. predictions. Yeah, tune in for everything. Yeah, tune in for everything. <laughs> Keep coming back. You know you want to. Bye. Bye. <laughs>